Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. In today's video we're going to be discussing the concept of the Lewis structures as an, an extra kind of level in our, um, our understanding of bonding um, as a way to visualize and model how atoms are able to connect within molecules. So, so far the model we've been working with, this valence model of bonding, which was actually developed around about the 1860s to be honest, um, even though our atomic model um, has progressed further than that. At the, at the moment, our understanding of how molecules connect is, is still working with this idea. We, we looked at, with the valence model, that there are connections between atoms in molecules, okay? And then we identified that there were a specific number of connections that each element would make. Um, we started by looking at hydride compounds to help us establish a pattern, and then we were able to extend it beyond that. Okay, that, so that, for example, carbon makes four connections, hydrogen makes one connection. And that then um, we looked at this idea that with structural um, formulae, that we could represent each particular connection as a line, horizontal or a vertical line, or you know just or a straight line. Let's generalize it that way. Okay, but the problem that we have is that um, we've established the idea that um, that these connections exist. But we have no actual mechanism to explain what are they? How are, are the, these atoms physically connected together? Okay, and the valence model was working with really simple kind of spheres, um, you know, back with kind of Dalton's idea. Um, now that we've seen that our understanding of the atom has progressed significantly beyond that but to, you know, introducing the electron and then seeing that there's the structure of the atom, internal structure, that puts electrons in certain spots. And we've introduced this idea that valence electrons are, are these particular electrons that, that are involved in interactions. And so that what we're seeing that the connection has to do with valence electrons. And then so around about 1916, if memory serves, that we get this man called Gilbert Lewis. Okay, so who was um, an English chemist. And so he proposed a model that showed that the actual, that the, va that the connections that we were talking about in this valence model were involved, were a shared pair of valence electrons, okay? So that these valence electrons that were shared between atoms, that one atom would bring one, the other atom would bring another, and there was a pair that would be shared between them that was the basis of this physical connection, okay? And so this idea was what we call a covalent bond. So the connection between atoms being valence electrons from two atoms being shared, covalent electrons being shared, and which is what gives rise to the bonding. And so then what he what he developed as a way to visualize that was a particular style of drawing chemical structures, which is kind of the, the same idea that we've been looking at with our structural formulae, but with a bit of extra um, explaining detail. Okay, so what that would involve is that you start by drawing um, the elements that are involved in your compound. Um, you start by drawing them as a symbol. And then you identify um, the number of valence electrons that that element has. Okay, now carbon in group four has four valence electrons. Okay, um, and so what you do is that you represent those valence electrons as either like dots, crosses, or some, some particular symbol. Okay, um, so it might be a coloured in circle, it might be a hollow circle, it might be a cross, it, I don't know, you could lash out and do a square pentagon if you're feeling particularly daring, but who cares. So the idea is that you're using some sort of symbol to represent those valence electrons. And then we draw around the symbol. So what I want you to do, what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to imagine that there is like a box that's written around this symbol and that we're going to be drawing along the four edges of that box so that we're always working at right angles. Okay, I've got four valence electrons, so I'm going to um, use crosses to represent the valence electrons of carbon. Okay, and I've got four crosses to write around it. Now, there is a good reason as to why I've done them one on each edge rather than two pairs. Okay, because what is going to happen is that the connections to, I'm making, I'm just, I, I didn't explain, I'm going to make CH4 with this one. 
I'm going to be making a connection on each, to a hydrogen on each of these four sides. Okay, so I've got a hydrogen atom on each, and so I'm going to write the symbol H. And then the idea is that we're, we're saying that the carbon brings one valence electron towards each hydrogen, and that each hydrogen then brings one valence electron towards the carbon. So each hydrogen is going to bring a hollow circle as its electron. Okay, and so what I have here now is that this carbon, if, if I can bring in the red, this carbon now has um, what we would say our full valence shell, which has eight electrons. So for carbon, that's a full valence shell. Because what it's doing, with, with the reason that covalent bonding is, makes molecules more stable than the atoms would be by themselves, is that um, the, um, by sharing this pair of electrons, that this central carbon gets to count four additional electrons as its own to fill up its valence shell. So rather than actually having to take them from something, by sharing them share, being shared, or kind of there's a mutual attraction between electrons from the opposite nuclei that, that makes this bond, by this sort of situation, then the carbon um, achieves a full valence shell, and also the, each hydrogen does as well. Okay, if I can draw, I realize there's lots of dots going on over here, but each of these hydrogens has two valence electrons that it can count as its own. Okay, and so the idea is that for each hydrogen, the same condition is also met. And so um, by drawing our structure here and showing it like that, that, that we've been able to actually to, to visualise the connections between valence electrons of these atoms, um, which is how this bond um, is actually able to form. Now, just be mindful that I didn't... Um, a carbon has more electrons than just the four valence ones. It has two others in its inside shell that we don't draw in a Lewis structure. We only show... Um, we only show valence electrons. So we're going to show, be showing up to eight. Okay? So um, that is, it will be you know, eight or less. All right, so let's have another look at... In the previous video, then I, we introduced this particular compound. Okay? Formaldehyde. And it looked like that when we drew it with a structural formula. But so now I can do the same sort of idea. Um, so this is, so using dots and crosses, drawing around the symbols, looking at only the valence electrons. Okay, so let's, let's represent it the same sort of way. Okay, so carbon, now I'm going to stick with the right angles rather than this triangular sort of sh structure that we've got over here. I'm not going to draw the dots around my carbon, but I'm just, you can picture that they're there. Okay, and I'm going to do this. Okay, so I've got my carbon, I've got hydrogens on each side, and I've got my oxygen. Okay, so my carbon brings four valence electrons. Okay, so one to each hydrogen, and then it's going to bring two to the oxygen to be half of each connection. Okay, now if I just clean this up just a notch and we can maybe move it a little further away. Each connection involves the oxygen bringing one valence electron. So one valence electron here and here to make a new connection. Okay, so it's going to have hollow circles, one here, one here. But oxygen has six valence electrons, okay? So what it has is that it's got another two pairs of electrons attached around the outside that are there. Okay, each hydrogen brings one valence electron, which I'm doing as a solid circle. So you can see the three different origins of electrons in this molecule, okay? So each of these connections, so each of these shares, it matches up with one of the lines in our original um, type of drawing, but it, it helps us to be able to explain um, how these connections exist by sharing these electrons between atoms so that and to achieve a full valence shell, um, this type of drawing allows us to visualise it better. Okay, so the rest is over to you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.